you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So about a month back, I uploaded a video on how I went from my jet black hair over to my ruby red color and ever since then the video has been doing really really well and you guys have been requesting the follow-up video so as promised i'm bringing you guys my full red hair care routine this is exactly what i do to my own natural hair this is how i've been able to maintain the vibrancy in my hair and at the moment i'm actually rocking a rooted red for you guys as you can see my roots have definitely grown in they're about an inch right now and I did that on purpose because I wanted you guys to see that I have not touched up my hair at all and the color that my hair has faded to is completely due to the red hair routine that I'm gonna be showing you guys today it took me a while to get this video up because I really wanted to make sure to test these products out and I never want to mention anything on my channel that I don't absolutely love so yes um, I'm gonna stop rambling we're gonna get right into today's video before we do please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already also make sure to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoy today's video and without further ado let's get into this red hair routine all right you guys so the first thing we're going to talk about and rather important is shampoo so anytime you have these fun colors in your hair you definitely want to opt for a sulfate free shampoo so what this means is that the shampoo will not strip the red pigments out of your hair. I've tried a lot of affordable sulfate-free shampoos and my only issue with those is the fact that they don't lather up in my hair. Now, if you are someone like me and you tend to wash your hair, let's say one to three times max a week, then that means by the time wash day comes around, you have a lot of product in your hair. For me, there's a lot of hairspray, there's dry shampoo, and I expect my shampoo to really get in there and get all that gunk out and just give me a nice clean slate to work with. So I knew going into this journey that I really, really wanted to make sure to find the perfect shampoo. I wanted it to be sulfate free in order to preserve this color that I've worked so hard to get. But I also wanted to make sure that it would really lather up and get in there and really clean my hair well. I'm so happy to say that I found the perfect shampoo. I've been using it for the past month or so. I absolutely love it. And that is the Redken Color Extension extend magnetics shampoo i swear by this and i actually ended up buying the big bottle i bought this one at ulta definitely keep an eye out on their website because i noticed that these tend to go on sale every once in a while but i think that number one in your routine should be to invest in a really good quality shampoo now i'm all about affordable products and saving money but i truly think that this shampoo is worth the investment especially with red hair colors like this and honestly when i wash my hair with this i find that my hair doesn't even bleed in the shower it's amazing it may bleed a little bit but nowhere in comparison to other brands that i've tried out 100 stand by the shampoo i love it so so much and i can't recommend it enough so now when it comes to my conditioner i'm a little less picky because i tend to only apply this on the ends of my hair lately i've been trying out the l'oreal ever pure conditioner and this one is from their sulfate free line and i ended up picking up the moisturizing one and i absolutely love this now two things i love about this conditioner is that one it smells so good this one has a rosemary scent to it and i love that it actually hydrates my hair i find a lot of the issues with sulfate free conditioners is that they don't really actually give me that nice smooth feel on my hair and with this one i get that nice silky effect so i've really been enjoying this and highly recommend it Another thing I quickly wanted to mention is I don't shower in cold water. I shower in warm water and I just use these products and I get this result. So break that myth that you have to shower in freezing cold water to have your red hair last that is not true now typically in the shower i will stick to those two products but on days that my hair needs that extra punch of hydration i do like to go in with a deep conditioning mask now the one that i usually go into is the l'oreal el vive deep conditioning mask i've sworn by this product for years i have tried so many high-end masks and nothing really compares to this for me now i don't think this one is sulfate free but like i said i only use this on occasion and lately my hair has been feeling really really great just with those two products that i already mentioned but i do swear by it anytime i want to give my hair a little bit of self-care and love so now the last and final step that i like to do in the shower that i truly feel has been a game changer 
at maintaining the vibrancy of my hair has been to go in with some sort of color depositing conditioners. Now, if you don't know what a color depositing conditioner is, it's basically like a semi-permanent dye mixed with conditioner that you can apply in the shower that really just helps kind of deposit the color in there and kind of just refresh your red as you shower. Now, the reason I mentioned these is because it does not matter how expensive your shampoo and conditioner is, your red is gonna bleed out every time you wash it. And unless you're going in there and really refreshing it in some sort of way, you're gonna find that your color will just fade super, super quickly. It won't be as vibrant. You won't get those red undertones. Most likely it's gonna fade a little bit more brown or orangey. And I really wanted to maintain that bit of redness in my hair on a day-to-day -day basis. I picked up this product just thinking, you know, I'm gonna test it out and see if it actually works, but I'm not expecting magic. But you guys, I was blown away at how well this product works. I even noticed that if I went without using it, my hair would fade so differently and it wasn't fading in the direction that I wanted wanted it to. And that is how I knew I just had to share this with you guys. So I ended up finding this product at Sally's and it's by the brand N-Rage. Now, the only thing I do want to state about this product is that even though it markets itself as a shampoo and conditioner, I don't use it that way. I specifically use this product only as the last and final step in my shower routine to really stain my hair. What I like to do is keep a little container like this in my shower. I'll just keep it in my sink and anytime I know that it is wash day, I whip it out and I do my little concoction. I personally picked up two different colors in this brand. I have the Intense Red and the Infinite Pink. And I did it this way because I like to make sure that my red always has a nice pink undertone to it. That is just what I prefer and what I feel complements my skin tone the best. So what I will do is literally just take equal parts of this and I will mix it into my little bowl with my brush. I always make sure to apply gloves when doing this as well because these will stain your hands. And as far as how much of this I mix, I kind of just eyeball it every time, but I don't use that much. I usually like to run my fingers through it and really just make sure I'm staining the overall areas of my hair. And that's really all I do. It's not as complicated as it seems, guys. This has been the step that I've been taking in my shower routine that really, really has made a change for me and what I truly believe has been giving me this gorgeous color. And I also think that's why I haven't gone in and refreshed my hair because I've just been loving this phase of red that I'm in. I love the way it looks when I freshly dye it and I love the way it fades and that's why I'm just so excited about this routine because I feel like not a lot of people talk about these things that you can do to really, really extend the wear of your beautiful, magical red hair. Now, because I just mentioned those conditioners, you will find that they are insanely pigmented because they are meant to stain the hair. It means that it can also stain your bathroom. So for that reason, I also like to keep a spray bottle filled with diluted bleach. Once I'm done showering, I'll just quickly spritz my bathtub and everything is clean instantly. Red can be messy, it does get everywhere, but bleach is your best friend. Now, I am someone who has a white bathroom as well as white bed sheets, and you know, that is where I'm just so thankful for bleach even existing. So besides bleach, there's also another little trick that I like to use to kind of prevent my hair from bleeding onto my white sheets. As I mentioned before, I do have white bed sheets, and if you are a redhead, you know that this will get on white shirts, white towels, white bed sheets. So something I started doing that not only protected my pillowcase from getting colored in any way, it also helps keep my hair from getting super frizzy. I started using a bonnet in my hair. I absolutely love it, guys. These are actually really, really comfy to wear. If you are someone who's already wearing these, awesome. <laughs> but in case you're not, and in case you've been having that issue, easy fix. Wear a bonnet, it will protect your hair, it will protect your pillowcase, so it's really a win-win and something super small that I think makes a big difference. So yeah, just thought I would mention that because this is something that I tend to use on a daily basis as well. All right, you guys, so now let's get into styling. So as you can see, once I'm out of the shower, my red is looking really nice and fresh and vibrant. 
What I will do is go in with a leave-in conditioner. This one is my current favorite by Tresemme. I've spoken about this on my channel before. I love how hydrating this is on my hair. It doesn't weigh it down, and I feel like it definitely, definitely helps with heat protection as well. I mostly like to focus the product on the ends of my hair as that is where I tend to have the most damage. Next, I like to go in with my wet brush and really just smooth out any knots or crinkles around the hair and really just disperse that product as best I can. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of these coconut oil drops and just lightly apply a light layer to the ends of my hair for a little bit of extra hydration. Now I'm gonna go in with my handy dandy blow dryer and blow dryer brush. This is the Babyless Pro blow dryer. I will leave it down in the description box below, but it is the baby blue one. And I'm just gonna give myself a nice smooth blowout to get these frizzies out. So once my hair has been blow dried, I'm pretty much ready to go in with my favorite curling iron of life and begin to create my signature wavy style. This is just how I love to wear my hair because it is so low maintenance. It looks great every day. I don't have to go in and retouch my curls. I just kind of let them fall naturally. But for this, I'm using my Conair curling iron. I picked this up a few years ago at my local Target and you can definitely still pick it up. I will also leave that down in the description box below, but it is just called their double ceramic curling iron I love this thing it does not damage my hair the way that other ones have and I just absolutely love it guys I love the ones that have the little clamp to it because it's so easy to do the little twist and curl method that I'm doing here where you basically start in the mid shaft of the hair do a twist hold it go down a little bit do a twist hold it and basically repeat all throughout the hair I typically curl them all in the same direction because on a daily basis I want to get my hair done as quick as possible guys so this is legit how I tend to wear my hair for the last and final step, I like to go in with a very fine mist. This is the Kristen S. Workable Hairspray, and that is pretty much it. All right, you guys, so we are at the end of the video, and I think I covered every single thing that I use on my hair. I'm just excited that you guys are loving the red hair content. You know, coming on YouTube, I knew that I wanted to make helpful videos that I kind of wish had been around when I was first starting with my red hair journey. If you guys did find today's video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up so I know that I was able to help you guys. Also, if you did find this video helpful, consider subscribing to my channel because there is a lot of hair content coming in 2021. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. I'll see you on my next video.